so first of all, I'm just going to give you an introduction to Twinings, who we are. 当然，首先要先介绍我们这一次最主要的调查里面的角角角色，就是我们的唐宁茶。Uh, I'll go through our range of teas and infusions to give you an idea of what you have to work with. 当然，我会介绍一系列我们的茶饮，也包含了我们的无咖啡因茶系列。And I'll introduce、uh, the topic for the mocktail competition. 当然，我还会介绍到我们这一次的调查主题。大家可以见到我们在呃影片上呃呃 T T 上看到的，唐宁是一间非常历史悠久的茶公司，从一七零六年我们在英国成立。When Thomas Twining opened his tea shop in London， 啊，汤马士唐宁先生就是我们的第一届，我们的呃创始店的版成立者。So over the last three hundred and ten years， we've obviously built up a huge amount of Experience and expertise in tea. 在这三百一十年当中呢，我们慢慢的养成了我们这个调查精品的文化，还有非常历史深厚的一个调查工艺。Now in 1837, Queen Victoria chose Twinings as her official tea. 在一八三七年，我们的维多利亚女王将我们的唐宁茶给选用为皇室御用茶。And since then, we've supplied every British king and queen. 从那个时候开始呢，我们就是历届的王、国王、皇后，还有皇室成员的茶饮供应商。Including today, we are the only official supplier of tea to Queen Elizabeth. 到现在，我们也还是唯一的一个皇室饮用茶的供应商。目前，英国的呃英女皇伊丽莎白也是喝我们的茶。And today, Twinings is the world's largest luxury brand of tea. 我们是现在。呃，在精品茶叶当中，唯一一个历史最悠久的茶叶公司。We are in 115 countries around the world. 超过一百一十五个国家可以喝到我们的唐宁茶。And every second, 222 cups of Twinings tea are drunk. 每一秒有破纪录的两百二十二杯的茶杯饮用，这也是我们的唐宁茶。And even though it's been more than three centuries. We are still a family company. This man's name is Stephen Twining. 超过三百一十年，我们唐宁始终是家族企业。大家可以在呃照片上看到，就是我们的第十代传人 Stephen 唐宁先生。And he is the tenth generation of the Twining family since we founded. 从发源到现在，已经传到第十代了。Okay, let's have a look at the range of teas that we have here in Twinings. 大家可以看一下我们的屏幕上显示是我们唐宁不同系列每一款独特口味的茶饮。We have so many different teas and herbal infusions that a common question that I'm asked is how do you know which tea to choose, which tea to drink? 啊，比较被常问到的问题就是你要怎么知道？哪一款茶呢？你应该选择在什么时候喝，或者是呃，在哪哪个时段喝 ？And when you're deciding on your tea, you can think about the weather, the season, think about your mood, think about what the occasion for drinking the tea is, but also for thinking about the time of day. 啊，比较大方向呢，我们可以从季节、时间、气候这样来评断，我们应该用什么样的茶饮来搭配。那当然也可以随着我们的心情或一整天的时间，我们再来细分它。大家可以看一下。So here are some suggestions. For example, a very strong black tea like English breakfast first thing in the morning. 像我们口味比较浓郁的，就是英式早餐茶，我们可以在早上的时段搭配早餐一起食用。In the afternoon, the classic afternoon tea teas are Earl Grey and Darjeeling. 像我们比较知名的下午茶搭配茶饮就会是我们的大吉岭茶或者是我们的伯爵茶。Or if you're looking for something caffeine-free, especially later in the day, one of our herbal infusions. 
如果在傍晚或者是在入睡前想要放松心神，我们可以选择无咖啡因系列的花果茶，像是我们的菊蜜茶或者是薄荷茶。Now some of our teas we've been making for a very long time. Uh, some of our teas we've been making for a very long time. 有一些茶饮我们其实调制出来已经经过非常非常长的一段时间了。For example, we started making English breakfast in 1933. 像我们最知名的英式早餐茶，它在一九三三年我们就研发出来了。And we created this blend as a very strong black tea that would accompany the food in a traditional English breakfast. 这款茶呢，我们就是专为我们的英式早餐所研制的，因为它有非常强烈浓郁的茶汤味。Probably our most famous tea is this one. This is called Earl Grey. 还有一款非常有名的茶，就是我们的伯爵茶。Now in the 1830s, Earl Grey was the British Prime Minister. 在当时，我们的格雷先生呢，是我们的英国首相。And Twining's made a special blend just for him. 而唐宁专为伯我们的格雷先生调制了这一款伯爵茶。When our customers found out about this, they started coming to our shop and asking for Earl Grey's tea, and that's why it became known as Earl Grey. 当大家众所皆知伯爵在饮用这一款茶的时候呢，趋之若鹜的到了店里。纷纷的想要仿效它，于是大家都说我要伯爵茶。Earl Grey is a light black tea, and it also has the flavor of bergamot, a citrus fruit. 伯爵茶它是一款茶汤比较清雅浓呃不那么浓郁的茶汤，那比较有名的就是里面的啊，佛手柑，佛手柑也在里面，所以它会有一款比较浓郁的果香味。Uh, some others of our black teas. We also have Lady Grey, which is uh, another citrus-flavored black tea. This one has orange peel added to it. 那我们的 Lady Grey 就是侍女伯爵，它同样也有果香味，那增加了橘皮的一个成分在里面，所以它会有更有一个呃不一样的一个感觉。In the tea world, the next one, Darjeeling, is known as the champagne of tea. 达吉岭是我们众所皆知的茶中香槟。达吉岭 is a region、uh, in the foothills of the Himalayas in northeast India。达吉岭的所在地呢，在我们的啊、uh, 印度的北边。那它的海拔比较高，相已经相当是喜马拉雅山山脉的高度。It's quite light tasting compared to many black teas,、uh, but it also has a distinctive flavour of what we call musket grape. 大吉岭它比较有别于其他的红茶，它的茶汤比较的淡雅。那其中最有名的一个香味就是我们讲的一种葡萄的品种，叫它是用来制作香槟的葡萄。And then we have finer salon, which is a strong black tea from Sri Lanka. 还有我们的席兰茶，它是一个比较浓郁气气味的一个红茶。那它是从斯里兰卡所采制。Uh, we also have a large range of flavored teas. These teas have all been、uh, flavored with different fruits or flowers, spices,、uh, but they're all on a base of black tea. 像我们的调味红茶系列，基底主要为红茶。那比较特别就是我们这一款，它调制了不同的呃水果、花香，还有我们的香草，以创造出更多不同的味道。Uh, for example, wild berry tea on the top left.、Uh, this is a black tea with strawberry, raspberry, blackberry, and black currant. 像我们的综合莓果，它就混合了四种不同的红黑果调制而成。We also have、uh, a flavored green tea. This is a very classic tea, jasmine. 还有我们最经典的茉莉绿茶。And finally, we come to our herbal infusions. 还有我们的无咖啡因花果茶。The point about herbal infusions is they don't contain tea leaves. 最主要的是，因为它并没有茶叶的成分所存在在里面。They're all made from flowers and different fruits and herbs, 
uh, but because no tea leaves means that they're naturally caffeine free. So it's the main ingredient, of course, is our flowers, and our fruits and vegetables. The main ingredient is because it is a caffeine series, so it doesn't have tea. So the Twinings Grand Prix 2016. This is our third year of the Tea And the theme for this is Who Comes to My Tea Party? Well, for 300 years, Twinings has had a lot of famous customers. For example, this is Jane Austen, the famous writer who was one of our customers. Jane uh, but coming closer to the present day, we also have uh, one particular uh, fan from the band One Direction. Uh, he loves our tea so much that we even repackaged one of our uh, teas, a lemon and ginger, with his name on it. So he Twitter But your job is going to be to choose somebody who you would like to have at your tea party. So and to think about this person's personality, their characteristics, what they're known for, somebody that you would like to share your drink with. So um, I've just prepared a few suggestions. Uh, for example, top left, here we have Kate Moss, the supermodel. Uh, we have the Duchess of Cambridge. Um, and when you think of her, obviously she's part of the royal family. She's very elegant, she's quite fashionable as well, but very sophisticated. Or perhaps you'd like to uh, enjoy your drink with the fashion designer Vivian Westwood, who was responsible for a lot of the punk fashion. Vivian Westwood, Or even Lady Gaga, she's unique, she's edgy, she doesn't play by the rules. What kind of drink would you make for her? So this is what you need to think about. Think about a good person and think about how you would make a special drink for this person. So,大家要仔细地思考,挑选出一位比较代表性的人物,他象征着一个良好的表征,那用他的形象来帮我们创造一款新的调饮。Okay, now another part of the competition may involve uh, pairing your drink with certain kinds of food. Now you may not have heard very much about tea and food pairing. I think for hundreds of years people have talked about wine and food. But in recent years it's become quite popular and fashionable to think about if you're eating this particular dish, what kind of tea would go well with it? So we need to think about taste and flavor. 
And when we're thinking about the flavor, the, the most obvious thing is the strength of flavor. For example, if you're drinking a very light but fragrant white tea, you wouldn't want to pair it with something extremely strong and heavy. So balancing the strength of flavors would be the first thing to think about. So uh Now for combining flavors themselves, uh, here are a couple of guidelines. We can either complement or contrast. So let's take compliment, uh, first of all. And this is about choosing similar flavors. For example, if you're having a lemon-based dessert, you could pair it with a lemon green tea. But of course there's a danger with this. You don't want to overload on one particular flavor. So an example might be uh, having a berry based dessert and then pairing it with one of our berry flavored teas. Might be too many berries, too sour. Uh, but this doesn't necessarily mean the same flavor. You can also use other flavors that you know already go well in other situations. So example, if I were having a a dish of salmon, I would probably choose a smoky kind of tea. Another idea might be for chicken. Okay, we all know lemon chicken, so you could combine the two. Chicken with a lemon green or lemon black tea. But when we talk about contrasting flavors, this is either done for balancing the two flavors or enhancing one of the flavors. So for example, if you are making a drink that has a lot of berries and very fruity, you might want to pair it with something soft and creamy, like a creme brulee or cheesecake. This technique can also be used to enhance flavors that aren't particularly obvious. For example, combining mint to draw out the sweetness of strawberries. Earlier, I mentioned this tea, English breakfast. Uh, uh, but just because it's got the name breakfast in it doesn't mean that it's only for early morning. In fact, for afternoon tea, I would often choose this as my tea. And that's because of its strong flavor and also because it has a little bit of sweetness from the Assam tea inside. It'll go well with some very sweet or very rich cakes. 
它里面有阿萨姆的红茶成分哦，所以它的气味比较浓郁，当然还带了一点甜味，我就很适合来使用它搭配我比较呃油腻的甜点或比较甜味重的甜点，像巧克力蛋糕。So just to summarize, the first part is about the strength of flavor. 啊，这是我们今天的回顾。第一个就是我们食物它的一个浓郁还有匹配的程度。Complement with similar flavors, but without overdoing it. 当然，我们恰到好处的一个相似味道的互补，但千万别过头。And contrast flavors for balance or to enhance flavors. 或是我们用对比的味道来凸显或平衡两者的那个之中的味道。So that's all that I have to say. My introduction. Uh, does anybody have any questions? 呃，我们有任何的问题想要先请教我们的大使 Stuart 先生吗？啊、uh, ，With your choice of um the person, the specific person, does it have to be an iconic people like a celebrity? Like for example, like the example you gave us is more like famous people. Right. Yeah. Choose somebody who's well known. Yeah. So that everybody will already have an idea about that person's personality. Uh, yeah. Don't don't choose your mum. Right. <laughs> So like okay, and they don't have to. You don't have to know whether they are like a fan of Chinese tea or not, right? Like, uh, no, no. Have to. Right, sweet. Thank you very much. 刚才的小姐的提问非常好。那今天主题就是名人与我的茶派对，所以必须是世界周知的名人人士，而不是你的。呃，我觉得我妈妈很，她是一个很棒人，我就选我妈妈。要选大家都认识的名人，或她不是一定是要我们的啊。嗯 Twenties 就是唐宁茶的粉丝也没有关系。Just continue that question. So it must be real people. Can be a character from a movie or book, like Harry Potter. Uh, yeah, that's okay as well. A fictional character, as long as we we know who this person is. 啊，其实他如果是一个虚幻、虚构的书中人物或电影中的人物，其实也没有问题，只要大家知道他就可以了。今天大家英文程度都很好。Also, the competition have used your Bread tea, right? But can I use two kind of your tea to mix? Uh, yes, you can, but uh, just make sure it's not another brand of tea because we can taste it. We can use the same Tang Ning Tea series of tea. You can use two or even two or more tea to make a balance. It's no problem. But you have to maintain the taste of the tea. You have to try it once. 当然要保持它的一定的呃，梦数，我们待会介绍到。还有谁有问题吗？对于我们唐宁的品牌，稍后会有赛制的解说，所以大家放心。很多唐宁茶的问题，大家可以尽量提出来。后面的我们的餐饮界的精英有没有问题呢？最后我要祝福大家，在这一次的比赛当中，大家都能创造出非常非常特别的调饮，我非常的期待。Thank you very much. 谢谢大家。